Maurizio, um, first of all, have you decided what your team is going to be tomorrow night? No. Have, have you told the players? No. Is Harry Kane going to start? I, I told before, they don't know. Have you decided whether he's going to start or yes, it's but still... We have you, one training session now and then we are going to decide. Gentlemen, second row. Hola, Mauricio. Hola. Martín Eisen de ESPN. Tengo la pregunta en inglés. Um, I would like to know, uh, it's, it's a process. Uh, it's been almost one month from the time that you have uh, uh, got the ticket to be in the final. And you digest different moments and you, you, you try to, could you separate uh, what it's been like, this journey, this, uh, these weeks that pass by from, from Ajax to today, and what have you thought of? And, and one, uh, I see your, your, uh, you lost weight. Is it true that you lost weight? Or, I don't know. <laughs> I saw you thinner. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. I, the same. Yeah, just, it is uh, the same. I am okay. the same. Okay, the, the process then of uh, your, 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 what you thought of, uh, the way you digest what happened in Ajax, and, and uh, the build-up for the game tomorrow. Thanks. Um, I am nervous, very nervous now. He put nervous. Um, you know, um, I think we really start to, to think um, and to prepare the final after Everton. Uh, when, um, I think after Ajax, we were so focused in to try to prepare the last game um, against Everton, but was the, to try to finish in the best way and be sure on the top four. That was our principal objective. Of course, after uh, we gave uh, two days off to the player, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, we start, I remember, 10.15, was report 9 o'clock, 10.15, First meeting, and we start to prepare. We talk during half an hour, and was the start of the preparation of this uh, final. Um, that journey was uh, was unbelievable. We enjoy a lot. Who was telling you how we enjoy about the the journey together? I think the atmosphere was great. The, of course, the focus, the concentration. I think it was a pleasure to manage uh, this group of players. I feel so proud because. Um, they were uh, unbelievable, open to to work and to to will to accept every single uh, purpose, uh, purpose uh, from us. And I think, um, like Hugo say, we are so ready. We are prepared. We enjoy a lot. Tomorrow is about uh, to be ready to to run, to compete, to enjoy. Um, we know very well that um, we know each other. Uh, really well, and of course it's about to enjoy, of course, that responsibility and the ambition to, to win. And we know very well that the final is, is um, in the moment that you got, got, get the final, it's about to win the final. Um, I think uh, we trust in ourselves, we are going to compete, respecting our opponent, because Liverpool is a great team. Um, I think with Manchester City, they are the best team on, on England. I think they were competing uh, head to head in the on the Premier League and of course uh, an unbelievable Champion League um, and then one year ago they were in the final um, and I think they deserve a, a full credit to Jurgen Klopp, fantastic manager, coaching staff, uh, players, unbelievable players, and a great great club like Liverpool with the, all the history in behind. I think uh, tomorrow is about to enjoy for us um, and try to win. Because uh, if we want to write the history and, uh, in football, uh, tomorrow is about, uh, about to win. And we know very well uh, what we need to do. Uh, Richard, hi. Um, hi. We know that you're not going to tell us your team, obviously. But could you just give us an insight into how big a decision it is for you regarding Harry Kane and what kind of processes a coach goes through when he's trying to make a decision like that? You know, it's, it's normal that you are asking me and it's difficult for you uh, maybe to put in my place or in the place of 
different coaches and that is normal, it's not easy. But it's, it's not going to be easy to take a decision tomorrow, but it was difficult the last game that we play, the semi-finals, the quarter-finals, the, the last 16, and every single uh, game you need to take a decision. But tomorrow is going to be another decision, a decision that uh, for sure that we have all the information, that uh, we know every single detail, and we are going to take the best decision to try to win. Um, like always in football, it's so painful when this type of game arrives and can only you can use from the beginning only 11, 11 players. You know, that is the most painful uh, situation. I proposed uh, a few weeks ago to try to the whole squad to make a, a picture all together. I think the UEFA, I think, uh, listen. Uh, when I, I told you, um, through you, arrive, and I think tomorrow the both team we are going to have the possibility that the, the whole squad be on the pitch before the game and, and to take a picture. I think it's going to, I think when we talk about fair play, when we, we talk about the values, you know, um, many things that happen in England, very disgusting things, and a lot of problems that we have tomorrow in front of maybe one billion person to show that the value of the football are there and we cannot be hypocrite and yes, nice words, but after, you know, uh, do nothing. And I think tomorrow is to show that, that togetherness, all the value that football can translate to the people. And I think tomorrow is a great opportunity to show one value that football is a collective uh, sport, that the first and the 25 players are so important or were so important, or it's going to be important because the energy that is going to translate on the changing room, the player that not play, is going to be decisive because it's not the same when it's a player there uh, sat or helping. Of course, it's painful inside, but you know that is the rule in football when players like Hugo Lloris or, or Harry Wayne start to play or when I was a professional player. But before, um, you, you uh, from the first moment when you play football, only can play first when you play with, uh, with seven in a, in, a, in a football seven and then you Cross to uh, pass to 11, and you know that the, your teammate that is in the training all the week is not going to play. You know, and that respect for me, that respect must be massive for the player that they're going to be select. And to show that is going to be fantastic tomorrow. Um, and of course, always decisions are tough decisions, and it's so painful. But it's part of my job to, to decide tomorrow to pick the the starting 11 and, and of course after to, to be natural and try to win the game that is most important. Gentlemen with the green tie. Uh, hola Mauricio, Tony Kerki de Univision Deportes. Um, you're here after playing... Uh, here. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you're here after playing uh, two very dramatic um, rounds uh, against Manchester City and against Ajax with a first and a second leg uh, matches that were very different from one another. So I was wondering, um, now is 90 or maybe 120 minutes, win or fail. Do you prepare and you manage a game like this differently? Of course, it's impossible. And who tell the, you know, talk different is lying. Um, you cannot prepare a, a friendly game like a final of a Champions League. First of all, because the player have different will and are dif uh, in a different level, mental level, and, and the focus and the concentration is completely different. You know, the most important is to try to, to settle your standard and, and to use like an example for the future, um, that that the standard must be the minimum. No, only in special uh, occasions when you play a final or an important game. That is for sure is going to... Uh, uh, make better yourself, of, of course, and the team. Um, but of course, um, I think tomorrow the most important is is to be ready and to build um, that uh, uh, feeling or emotion is about a few weeks ago. Um, if now today we go to the training and we uh, replicate everything that we are going to do tomorrow, or tomorrow we are going to talk in a, an unbelievable speech, uh, motivational speech. Uh, you know, the player when arrive very close to the competition, close. All that is here, is here. They 
it's difficult because they are concentrated in the in the competition, and they are going to um, to express themselves. Um, depend how you prepare, you no, know, how you build uh, to arrive in this in this situation in that competition because under stress always appear your uh, automatic pilot and you behave, you know, how uh, you need to feel safe, you know, and then when it's one billion watching you play in a final, more than ever. The most important is to, tomorrow to be freedom, to play like uh, when you uh, were young, a child, uh, seven, eight, nine year old, and you play freedom, um, you need, the, the, the key is not to think that it's one billion uh, person uh, people uh, watching you is go there, enjoy, play, run all together, uh, helping each other, good communication. That is going to be the key um, because, of course, Liverpool is a, is a great team, a lot of quality, um, and of course, they are going to be ready to fight. But on the end, we are going to try um, and hope that win the best, and the best uh, will be Tottenham. How are you doing? You're right. Yes, very good. Good. Um, Jurgen Klopp's been reminded that on Tuesday is press day, and and today that he's already been at two Champions League finals and he's lost them both. Um, this is your first one. Do you need to almost pinch yourself to believe this is happening to you? Um, sorry, I need help. Yeah, it's okay. You always do. <laughs> I have a, one advantage. I am younger than than children, than children, and I just, uh, um, of course, that um, it's amazing. It's amazing to go back and, and ten months ago when we started the preseason. I seem to believe one day to to be here, no? And in ten months to be here, um, of course, um, for me. Jürgen is a very successful manager. I admire him a lot. It's great. It's great. Uh, he's always happy. He's optimistic. He's a very good example for... I think it's spontaneous. It's natural. I like a lot. And it's a little bit unlucky. But I think the people just because you, you uh, lose the finals. For me, you need to judge. It's the third time that it's going to arrive in the final. I think the most difficult thing is to arrive to the final. And then it's a lot of circumstance, how you arrive, that is going to be decisive. Thing that you cannot control, like a manager, you know, and you need to trust that the universe cons conspired and made you, yes, leave the trophy. And sometimes it's with you, and sometimes it's against, it's against you. And, but uh, that is obvious that Shurgen is, is a fantastic coach. And, and to arrive in the third uh, personal, uh, Final in the Champions League, I think is chapeau, and of course, congratulations. Happen what happened, for me, is going to be always one of the best uh, managers. I, I admire him a lot. For me, that is the most important, of course, that we all want to win. We are in football because we want to win and because we, we need to feel that adrenaline, you know? But I think uh, to get the final of the final of the Champions League, that journey is the, the most important and the most difficult thing. You know, to planify, to design a plan to to arrive here, that is the most difficult thing. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Finish.